Here we are outside of the Apollo 11 VR exhibit that I created. And right out front, I have an image of the astronauts. As we look up, there is a view of Earth. And so I placed this environment in outer space to give that feeling of actually being in space, since naturally that's where the astronauts went. Inside the exhibit, we have three different focus areas. I'm gonna start off towards the back with the Neil Armstrong exhibit. What we have in front of us is Neil's suit that he wore in space. So this model is courtesy of the Smithsonian 3D digitization project. Pretty detailed, definitely really like that. And directly to the right, we have text on the wall that tells more information about the space suit that Neil wore. Just below the description, there is a custom button that I created and configured with MRTK. So with this particular button, when it is pressed, what it'll do is actually play a transcription of everything that's here on the wall. Using Azure Text-to-Speech, what's going to happen is that I have a script that gets executed upon button press. It'll send a string up to Azure. Azure will then return or gets magic, bring us back an audio clip, and then it gets played. And it just so happens that the string that I sent is the description that's here. So if I get closer, I'm going to go and press this button. This spacesuit was worn by astronaut Neil Armstrong, commander of the Apollo 11 mission, which landed the first man on the moon on July 20th, 1969. So what you're hearing now the is the audio clip that comes back from Azure, and it doesn't have to only be in English. There's other languages and other voices. They permitted maximum mobility and were designed to be worn with relative comfort for up to 115 hours in conjunction with the liquid cooling garment. If necessary, they were also capable of being worn for 14 days in an unpressurized mode. The okay, so she's just about done. I'm going to head over to the next area. Or EV configuration. So here we have extravehicular EV gloves. And these are the gloves that Neil wore. And with Object Manipulator, which is part of the Mixed Reality Toolkit, I can grab these gloves and I can hold them, I can turn them around, I can rotate them, and that'll enable me to see more detail. I could pick up the other one as well. I could pick up them both at the same time. What's great about being here in VR is that I can actually put my controllers down and grab these with my hands. So once my hands are there we go, tracked. I can pick up one and look directly inside of it. I can pick up this other one just the same and I can see inside. So that's pretty cool. So you have that option of either using the controllers or your hands. Because of the placement of the colliders, these aren't gonna hit up against each other, but physics is applied so I can drop them both and naturally it'll fall. So I'm gonna grab my controllers back. Okay, and then we're going to make our way over to the command module exhibit. So this exhibit is similar to the one for Neil Armstrong. This one is for Columbia. And as I turn to my right, here's the actual model of the command module itself, also courtesy of the Smithsonian. The setup is the same in the sense that if I do press that button, then we are going to get an audio clip that plays back what's here on the wall. And again, that's courtesy of Azure Text-to-Speech. As I head around in front of us, we have the Apollo 11 timeline. And so this is a visual timeline of what happened from when the astronauts were sent into space up until when they came back home. And so if I get closer to this far beginner corner here, we have these images that are courtesy of the Smithsonian, and these are the actual images from when the astronauts were going into space. Even here, we have Neil Armstrong's very first step. That then brings us to the Lunar Rocks exhibit. So the Lunar Rocks exhibit is an area of rocks that have been collected by astronauts across various Apollo missions. On the top half, I have the lunar rocks from the Apollo 11 mission. If I get closer, you'll see that they are actually rocks. So these models are from, the, from NASA. So they're courtesy of NASA, they're open source. And as I come around, I also have some rocks from the other Apollo missions, as I mentioned, place myself in a 
more ideal position. Here we are. So in front of us, we have additional rocks and I have this fake glass that sits on top of it. But if you want it, you could also remove the glass and then you can make these objects interactable. So with object manipulator from MRTK, you could essentially pick the rocks up and such just as I did for the gloves. So that is the exhibit and I hope you enjoyed it.